That white cedar tree is getting really big now. I bought it from the Forestry Commission when it was only tiny. A nice home for birds and things. Isn't it? And the pollen is edible too, so that's something. And it's rather, the needles are rather pointy. I don't think a cat would like to climb up through that, all that. So, birds will be very safe in that tree. Yes, the needles are quite sharp. Rockabye baby, eh? Up in the treetops. Here's a lovely dandelion. Isn't it lovely? So beautiful. Growing in the shade too, but enough enough light. It's winter time, but there's enough light to make it open. They've got to have enough light, haven't they? Isn't it wonderful? It's gorgeous. Just like you, isn't it? It's gorgeous, just like you. Look at the lion's tooth leaves in the background, see? Just like our saber-toothed tiger's tooth. Look at all the shepherd's purse. Isn't it wonderful? Each little seed capsule looks like a heart. In the old days, a shepherd would make a purse out of a dried heart. I suppose it would have been a heart with all the ventricles or whatever they... What are they called? Atriums. They would have been filled with coins, wouldn't they? And the whole thing would have been thonged together with leather thongs. So lovely. There's some shepherd's purse. There's a little... There's the little purses. Each little heart is a purse, isn't it? Each little heart is a purse, a shepherd's purse. So much of the stuff. Very pretty. It's like Alison, isn't it? Doesn't have the scent though. I love the stuff. Herbalist to use it. I suppose to stop bleeding, I think. It can stop internal bleeding. But I'm no herbalist, so don't take my advice. So pretty. Come on, let's gather all the shepherd's purse while we may. Listen to that dog barking. Listen to it bark. I love shepherd's purse. So delicate. You could use it as a foil in your uh, flower, in your vase, couldn't you? They call that a foil, don't they, when you have something pretty like uh, asparagus, uh, asparagus fern leaves or something, just as a background. This pretty little weed is called fumitory. Someone's using an angle grinder, they'd have to do that, wouldn't they? Anyway, it's a beautiful little weed. It's one of my favourites. I think some of them are actually uh, resistant to pesticide now, to zero or something. 
Farmers don't like it, but I like it. I love it. Isn't it beautiful? What a beautiful little strawberry jam and cream little plant. Isn't it wonderful? It's so gorgeous. It can climb too. It's sort of got tendril or half tendrils. It can half climb. It's a semi-climber. Isn't that fantastic? You could use that for a doll's house, couldn't you? A little bouquet for a doll's house. Wonderful stuff. So much of it. It goes wild around these parts. It's like a heath, isn't it? I call it the fumatory heath. It's not heather though. Look over there, there's shepherd's purse and fumitry growing together. Like friends. Pink and white. Lovely. Fumitry and shepherd's purse. in all its gorgeousness. Look at all this gorgeous, gorgeous Artemisia arborescens, I think it is. Some sort of wormwood, extremely drought resistant, great for Australia. You can easily grow it in winter time just by getting a piece like this and uh, pulling off the lower leaves and keeping it in a glass of water on your window still any time from late autumn, uh, early winter and by spring you'll have all roots everywhere and you can plant it out in spring or you can put it directly in the ground any time in the winter time but you'll have to water it through that first summer but it's beautiful and it's fragrant gorgeous stuff Artemisia arborescens, silver wormwood I call it. So beautiful, so tough, so soft, so soft. You could make an animal's bedding too, and wormwood is supposed to kill fleas, isn't it? Kill worm, <laughs> worms too, I suppose. So soft and silver, so lovely. Blind people would like this garden because it's so soft to the touch. Helen Keller liked certain plants. She liked Smilax. Smilax is beautiful and soft and beautiful soft tendrils. Delicate fine tendrils. So soft. 